We are going to go over the arteries and veins in the upper part of the cat. This is your heart. On the surface of the heart are your coronaries, and these little pink vessels here. At the very top of the heart, you kind of have to clear everything out, and sometimes I even have to push this aside so you can see the aorta. There's the aorta. Because it's in the chest area, it's called the thoracic aorta. If you follow it up, it kind of arches here, and there are two vessels that come off the top of the aorta. The larger one is the brachiocephalic, and the smaller one is the left subclavian. Now, if I follow the brachiocephalic up, it's going to branch into the two carotids. If I follow the subclavian, eventually it'll just go into the arm that way. It's not really visible on this side. The other vessel coming out of the top of the heart is this blue one. This is the superior vena cava. It'll go up and then branch into this Y, becoming the brachiocephalic here and here. The brachiocephalic then branches again, becoming the external jugular, which goes towards the head. And then over on this side, you can see it better. There's the one going towards the arm, which is the subclavian. Sometimes you can see the internal jugular, but on this cat, I don't see it. What's interesting, too, is if you clear all the stuff at the top, these two external jugulars kind of go in this loop around, which is kind of interesting. And the other thing you find on the heart is the pulmonary trunk, which actually kind of goes underneath the aorta. But that's the pulmonary trunk, and look where the aorta is. It's right there. Aorta, pulmonary trunk. Now most of the time you do have to sort of remove the pericardium to see it, otherwise it's kind of covered up like that. All right, hit the off button. It'd be, be awesome for YouTube.